spoils it. Mm. Nope. I don't know how to, uh, is it like nine, one? I forgot how combinations work. in room three. What if I gotta go that way first and then I don't I don't know if like room three is upstairs or downstairs. I assume this door's un unlocked. Yeah. No, no, no. Well yeah, I was about to head in that room. Thanks, Mr. Madman, or Black Man. The writing this on the is wall. My room. I belong here. Can't. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. Great. The story unfolds. Apparently I'm crazy. I recognize this view. I know the combination. I carry it with me. This one, nine one three. The empty room always felt familiar. It had a mild fragrance of crushed leaves and wet sand that somehow convinced visitors that they belonged. It wasn't real, of course. Calm Was this one nine one three? He says it carries it on him. But where? The 
Louisiana State Board of Private Investigator Examiners grants the following license to Edward Carmby, Decatur Street. Okay. So I have a thing here. He says it carries it on him. I don't know. These combinations don't make sense to me. I'm gonna admit, it. I don't, I don't get them. Thanks for the bullets. Anything else in this room? Besides more ammo. No, there's nothing in the roof of the room, apparently. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. It's just because you're it's drunk. Like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Like a bunch of alcohol, but I need a screwdriver. Sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Okay. So besides that, is there anything else in this room? I guess we can open this one door. Anything else crashing here? Maybe down here, that one bed thing fell. Oh, yep. Hmm. Okay. Did it fall? Oh no. I guess let's head back upstairs onto the mezzanine. It says I have the combination. I have no idea where it's at. So maybe I have to do some stuff, look around, and I find it. I don't know. There's something in here. Somewhere. Oh. Let's look around. It says it's we haven't found everything yet, but like nothing else really to find in here. I 
I never unlocked this door. Oh, still can or here. Maybe I gotta go to the clerk's office again. I don't think I have the do not disturb. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to snoop around his office, though. Yeah, it would be a perfect time if I could unlock this safe. It's blocked. And one. Oh. Okay, let's head to the clerk's office, I guess. It's blocked. Why? I guess let me go put up the ladder again. For some reason, I got knocked over. Can I put up the ladder again? Oh. Okay. How do I get places? <laughs> they cut off all my shortcuts. Oh, maybe something's in here now. Can't leave through there yet. <laughs> I really doubt I can go through that door yet. Yeah, it's blocked off. I don't know, I guess let's head back into the dining room. Cause I can go downstairs from here, so. See something like broke down there. Oh, but of course it's locked. Okay, yeah, it says 913. Let's just head back to the clerk's office. Maybe like a cutscene or something will trigger. Or I'm crazy.
I'm curious if like the painting switch me being like giving me like I'm slowly losing my mind. Nine. Or one, two. I'm probably really stupid. I'm so stupid, guys. I don't know why. My brain has just been like so weird. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction. As some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, when it comes to this game, maybe because it's like Roman numerals, I was like, oh yeah, six, and instead of going over three, I went over four. Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. All right. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Farewell, Key. Nice, nice. Dearest Dr. Manzetti. I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm, eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. 
I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Look for Jamie's x-ray place in the infirmary. Where the fuck's the infirmary at? Oh, good. This can't be real. We are on a boat. Was in here? Thing's safe still? What? Is there another puzzle?